What up, party people? It's your girl, Tuli. <laughs> All right, so if you're here because you want to see what the F I just did to my face using drugstore makeup, then sit tight because you're about to see it and you're in for a bumpy ass ride. And I can't say I'm surprised. I really can't. It's actually the first time I've ever used drugstore makeup in my life. In my whole life. In my whole life. Honest to God. Um, so, let's see uh, what happens. All right, everybody. So, let's get it started. The very first drugstore product that we are going to dive on into is the Dream Velvet <coughs> Matte Hydrating Foundation. This is in color 20. Classic ivory hmm as you can see i am like breaking out like no two ma bro i'm worried i'm really worried about this stuff because i did film this video yesterday and all my footage got all effed up so now i'm refilming it and all i keep thinking is that this did this to me so i'm so nervous just a disclaimer just a disclaimer but okay so this foundation goes on like a really nice cooling type of gel then it sets to a matte foundation that literally leaves your skin looking velvet and fresh now like I said I tried it yesterday and I was really pleasantly surprised with the way it came out all over I did already prime. Okay, now once we dot it all on, we are just going to go ahead and use our Y6. Now, the problem with drugstore foundations is nine out of 10, they really don't have a good shade range. So quite frankly, I honestly feel like for the most part, you're gonna always kinda have. Anywho, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep a gangsta today and we are going to uh, give you uh, the full slut package. As you can see, this color is a little bit darker. Keep the sweatshirt on, nobody can tell. See how that works? Okay, so that is the foundation. The coverage is not bad. Um, the other thing I picked up in the Dream family, this is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. Now, in this, this is a whopping 0.5 worth of product in here. This is one of the um, twist-up pens. So when you twist it up, from this line up is all the product you're going to get right here, okay? Now, the problem with that is... Depending on how good the concealer is, is gonna gauge on how much you're gonna need to use of it. The color I got was in color Fair. This is number 10. This is the lightest shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. You can see. That's it right there. So it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty fair for the most part. Now the, the part I don't like about these kind of brushes, which I'm not gonna like nitpick too much, but the part I don't like about these brushes is that when the product comes out, it comes out through the bristles this way instead of coming up through the bristles. And in my opinion, what's the point? I feel like it kind of, you're. it's like kind of pointless to have even a brush if it's not gonna actually come out the right end. But like I said, I'm just being a little nitpicky. Again, this is drugstore makeup. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the trusty blending bud. Take our blending bud, and we are just going to bounce this product back and forth. Okay, so 
first thing that I can notice right off the bat is that my dark lines are still extremely predominant. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more concealer. I feel like once I went back with the blending bud, it took away all of that coverage and all that product. So let's see if we can build this up and see if we can get some more, some like deeper coverage in here. Okay. And the answer to that is no. The concealer, this concealer was $8. Now, I was able to do a buy one, get one half off. The foundation was $11 and the concealer was $8. So, of course, the concealer was the one that I got half off. So, the concealer ended up being $4. Now, if you were to tell me this was a $4 concealer, I would say absolutely. That is a $4 concealer. Busted ass concealer. So, save your money on that. That is like without... That is just without a freaking doubt okay moving right along so i'm gonna try to salvage this concealer with using my touch hold unique um translucent powder i absolutely love this stuff this stuff is fantastic if you are oily or if you are dry skin my next drugstore product which is my butter bronzer i did a whole video on how tati westbrook made me do it um she absolutely uh, always talks about this in her videos. I had to get it as much as I literally didn't want to get it. I have to get it. She literally put a spell on me and she made I'm me I'm going to take the Morphe M530. There we go. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to swirl it in and dab just a little bit off. I'm going to go right into the hollows. You want to get it like right in the hairline. Now, when I have, like, super blonde hair, like, when I get my roots done, when you guys see me with my roots done, you're going to be like, oh, my God. It's, like, literally impossible to do this step because I have all of this, like, bleach blonde hair. But for right now, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to do because I have a lot of roots. Here we go. Focus. Why does that do that? It's just so freaking annoying. And now I'm going to just take a little bit and go right on my jawline to make my double chin into a single chin. Yeah. yeah. Currently, when I went to the drugstore, it did say um, Physician's Formula was having a buy one, get one free. And that's really cool because that means if you went to the store with you and your home girl and you both wanted to get this stuff, you could both grab it and both be very satisfied and only pay like $7 each. So it's not a bad get up. I mean, honestly, that's the one good thing about going to the drugstore. It's called Midnight Moon. It is by the, it's a limited edition wet and wild highlighter. It's from the Mermaid Collection. Look at that gorgeous 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 imprint like how gorgeous it looks like this amazing like gold highlight it's just so freaking pretty right so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna dust off my bake okay so we are bronzed and we are concealed and you can still see the concealer really is not that opaque at all so I just want to say that. Go ahead and stick it into the Midnight Moon Wet n Wild Bar. This bar right here was $6 originally. For some reason, I got it for $1.74. Oh, okay. So that's probably why it was $1.74. Man, it looks so bad. Oh, you would not want to walk around with that on your face. Hell to the no. Okay, so I'm going to take my blending bud and just try to, like, remove some of that. Damn. So there you go. That's why it is a whopping... Oh, my God. 
That's why it's a whopping $1.74 because you know that they couldn't sell this shit. I'm just gonna say I heard from a lot of beauty gurus that this stuff was the bomb and that's really upsetting. I'm just wild. This is the um, rainbow highlighter except this one is called bronze over the rainbow. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just wipe off that same brush that we use and I'm gonna just go ahead and woo, look at it go. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side, like so. And down the bridge of our nose. Cupid's bow. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my chin and then I always kinda just go right under my eyes with the brush, like so. Normally I would do eye makeup, but we are just, I didn't, I didn't get a drugstore palette. No. So I do not mind the velvet, Maybelline Velvet Matte Foundation. I do not mind it. I think it applied nicely. I think it looks decent. Um, it's not patchy. It went on really nice. It's for um, that dry skin. So if you have oily skin, I definitely don't think I would recommend this for you. Goes on very gel and cooling like, sets to a nice type of matte mousse uh, type foundation. Fine, I'll give it to you. So if you want to go to the drugstore and get yourself foundation, I recommend it. The Dream Velvet Matte Foundation that's gel and turns into a matte normal hydrating foundation. Now. What I do not recommend is the Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. Not only do you only get 0.5 of the product where this line is up, um, it does no coverage. It does nothing for my under eye circles. It does nothing. Um, I am brightened underneath, but if you guys watch the video, you will see that I did do a little bit of baking. So if it wasn't for that, I would have little to no brightness as well as no coverage. So the concealer I definitely don't recommend though I got it for four um though I got it for three yeah I got it for four dollars. It was originally eight but it was a buy one get one half off but save your money and get a better concealer when you're using something that is such a waste of money and it doesn't cover and do what you want it to do. So that's that. Also I absolutely do not recommend I do not recommend the um, moon, the midnight moon uh, glow bar. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. So um, this is the, it is a limited edition product. Yes, the pan is super cute. I love the indent. But that being said, disgusting. I am so not happy with this gold. Did switch to the Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. This is also a limited edition. It is in bronze over the rainbow. Really nice. This is the glow I have. It's not chunky. It's just a nice gorgeous gold glow. So that's what we have on right. That's what we used and it looks really nice like that. Um, as for bronzer, of course, the tried and true butter bronzer by Physicians Formula also has the um, People's Choice Award stamp of approval. It's doing really, really well for itself right now. Um, I would absolutely recommend it. You can find this in a buy one, get one. Uh, so if you buy one, get one free. So if you and your homie wants to try it, definitely you guys can split it. $7 each, $7.50. Split the price and um, you each can try it and it will be worth it, honest to God. So um, that is that part shocked at how well the foundation did, um, but I am definitely more um, not shocked at the concealer and the highlighter and... You know, um, it's, but it's a 50-50. It's a 50-50 win, so... There's that. So I will absolutely be doing another one of these videos. Please like, subscribe, share, send me all the love. I absolutely love doing these videos. And if as long as you guys are watching, then I feel like I'm doing something a little bit right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Thank you.